Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, in today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what the cards are predicting for you right now with regards to your current romantic situation. It is going to be a general reading, guys, but if you are a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. Okay, there is this very strong energy of trying to make something work, okay, trying to, um, maybe you're trying to hard, okay, maybe this person that you're involved with is trying to hard, um, maybe the reason why you're trying so hard is because they're putting up resistance, but there's this energy which feels a little bit unsettled and it's creating some sort of conflict, could be an inner conflict that it's creating, Okay, so it could be an inner turmoil or an inner conflict that you're currently experiencing, maybe within yourself. And what you're doing is without necessarily realizing it, you're, you're maybe projecting some of your insecurities or some of these, uh, you know, inner conflict or inner turmoil you've got going on onto your relationship or onto the person that you're currently connected with. Could be romantic, you know, could be um, just a connecting energy, but it feels like there's something here that feels like, Either you need to make things right, okay, or your person might need to make things right, or the both of you need to find a middle ground. It does feel like, it's almost like someone owes someone an apology, or someone owes someone an explanation. Um, you know, someone wants to make things right, they want to make things work, but they're not necessarily sure how to do that. Um, it could... I feel like you're both kind of feeding off this energy though, okay? I feel like whoever this other person that you're currently involved with, it just feels like they may be going through some things on their own. And it seems like maybe there's this miscommunication. Maybe there's just, you know, you guys are putting so much pressure on this. It Something is backfiring. There's also this resistance that I'm seeing with the Seven of Wands here, okay? Um, someone is very resistant to something here. They're either very resistant to change or they're resistant to maybe, you know, opening themselves up. They're resistant to offer up, very resistant to offer up this explanation or this apology or just to be vulnerable here. But someone is resisting the energies very strongly here. I do see, okay, you've got the sun card, which is a very beautiful outcome. I do see that whatever it is that you're going through, this turmoil, this tumultuous um, energies, this turbulence, okay, whatever it is that you're going through right now, I do see a positive outcome, okay? So whether it's romantic, whether it's business, whether it's some sort of inner storm that you're currently facing, I do see you making things work. I do see you making things right. In fact, I see things working out for you. Uh, maybe with little effort on your part or with a lot of effort on your part, I just feel like the right solution, the right situation, the right um, opportunity, the right circumstance, the right person, the right timing is just going to sort of show up for you. And more importantly, I feel like you're going to take advantage of it. Okay, when there's an opportunity for you to set things right, or when there's an opportunity for you to, you know, make things work or to lay down your pride, uh, whatever it is, I do see things working out for you because the sun card is definitely, um, you know, it's going to put you in this happy place. Whereas if right now you're kind of resistant to some sort of changes or if you're resistant to you know, pushing your pride aside and offering up an explanation or an apology, whatever it is that you're resisting to, I feel like a lot of it is what's contributing to this inner turmoil, to this tumultuous situation. I see you uh, quite some, and it's not too long, okay? It's not too long from now and from the situation that you're in, because in terms of movement, both the pseudo swords and the pseudo wands are a very uh, fast moving energy. So it could be a matter of, you know, hours, days, or even weeks that you start sensing a shift. It's this shift in energies, a shift in how you feel, a shift in how you think, a shift in, you know, how your person is 
feeling and thinking and how they're acting towards you. So there's this shift. Um, the interesting thing about the shift is it's going to be intentional because I feel like you're going to be taking the steps, whether it is reaching out and extending an olive branch, whether it's, you know, becoming vulnerable with this person and opening yourself up to this individual, whether it's, um, you know, that apology that may be owed an overdue or an explanation or, you know, just lowering your guard down and lowering your resistance. It is an intentional shift and that shift comes about because you choose to do uh, something about it. You choose to make things right. So if you're experiencing some sort of tumultuous situation, wherever you're at, okay, there's this let me tell you, there's this huge disharmony in the energies. There's this huge, huge, you're not matching with someone right now. It's just that the two of you aren't vibing, okay? In fact, you're not even, it feels like you're not even vibing with yourself, if that makes sense. It just feels like what you want and what you need are in war with one another, okay? Um, but oftentimes what you want kind of leads to what you need. But it just feels like there's this harmony. It just feels like there's this war raging on, um, you know, what are you battling against here is what I feel like you have to ask yourself because for some of you you're going against you know this resistance that I see in the energies it, it's, it's like you're going up against something but ultimately some of you I feel like I just you're resisting some very wonderful changes okay and some of you are maybe afraid to step out of your comfort zone but I see some beautiful wonderful opportunities and some wonderful um changes that are going to present themselves to you that are essentially going to put you in this happy place that are going to give you a lot of growth opportunities a lot of transformation opportunities to meet new people opportunities to you know make and form new connections opportunities to grow and evolve and you know finally let your light shine but all of these changes do feel like it would require you stepping outside of your comfort zone so let's see if we can just uh, get a few more cards about where it is that you're um, you're going to end up. Okay, we've got the Hermit energy, and the Hermit is this really wise figure. Maybe for some of you, what you need right now, especially to you know to allow for the dust to settle on this conflict, what you might need right now is some time, or maybe this is what your person is needing you know, some time and space alone and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Maybe you might need some, I mean, time to gather your thoughts and feelings. You are, after all, a sign that is ruled by the suit, by the realm of cups, and it's such an emotional sign. And sometimes you do have a tendency to pick up and absorb people's energies and their vibrations and their, that their emotions, you know, as well as yours. So that in itself is purely, you know, can be purely exhausting. So right now, the cards seem to indicate that you do need to focus on, you know, on you, okay? You need to, maybe you might require some physical space to yourself, so some alone time, maybe some emotional space and emotional distance from certain connecting energies or just from the rest of the world in general, but it feels like to really focus on you, you need to give yourself the time um, and invest in yourself a little bit more. Okay, because for a lot of you, this unease or this conflict that you're feeling, remember how we spoke at the beginning of the reading, you're possibly projecting maybe some insecurities onto a relationship or into a situation. That's because there's some sort of, you know, disharmony within your energy. And maybe you're having a hard time identifying exactly with what it is and it's manifesting in, you know, all sorts of ways. Like you could be a little bit more defensive or argumentative um, more so than usual or you could possibly be just, you know, just feeling this misalignment here. And it's just manifesting itself in, obviously, you know, in some, uh, maybe some less than positive ways. Um, you've got to the Knight of Pentacles, which tells us that, you know, all the work that you're essentially going to be putting into yourself or into the situation or into making something work is going to pay, pay off. You won't necessarily achieve overnight results, okay? Because things don't happen overnight, even though it might seem like that. It might seem like that, you know, from the outside to everyone else. But it does feel like the hard work that you're going to be putting in, investing in yourself, you know, looking after you, doing you, looking after the situation, um, laying the groundwork for something. All of that is going to pay off immense, immensely and handsomely. But it will require you be, to be patient. Patient with yourself, patient with the results, and of course, patient with the universe. 
Okay, and these are the messages of advice that I have for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the um, channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye.